Hi, my name is Rafael Gonzalez. I work with Devon IT. I'm a technical sales manager, and I am here today to speak with you about VDI Blaster. Our VDI Blaster is our new um, uh, tool which uh, can be used to repurpose your existing PCs into a thin client. So here we have a typical PC uh, that we see in many customers' environments, 18 months to three years old, uh, in some cases a little bit older. Uh, we copied our uh, blaster installation routine here. Uh, for sake of time, I'm not going to run through the entire installation. Now, we've already loaded uh, the blaster tool on this PC. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty in, uh, quick installation here. You click install and it'll uh, decompress a uh, boot image uh, onto the existing NTFS file system. We support only XP Pro today uh, for installing the Blaster tool. Uh, Blaster could also be deployed um, uh, via a remote software distribution uh, if you have that in your environment so you don't actually have to do a, a, a uh, manual installation on each PC. Once that installation completes, I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Uh, this is my XP Pro desktop. I'm going to go ahead and restart this computer. What's going to happen is uh, we did two things. We installed a, uh, our DTOS uh, embedded operating system boot image on the local NTFS file system and we also modified boot INI to make this into a dual boot system. So when this XP um, machine reboots it's going to come up with our DTOS uh, operating system. DTOS stands for Devon Terminal Operating System. Uh, it is our uh, Think Client uh, operating system. It's the same embedded operating system that we offer in our physical Think Client devices. So, uh, nice thing about it is a common interface. So, if you start with the Blaster tool by repurposing PCs, when you're ready to move away from these uh, older PCs, you can move to a new uh, Think Client with the same operating system. So, as this comes up, we now have a dual boot option. It defaults uh, into DTOS. So our Blaster agent is going to come up now. And uh, what we have done now is we've uh, gone around the XPOS. Now, our current, our current design uh, is such that we don't destroy your existing XP installation. Um, if this does not work for you, you can easily revert to your existing XP install on the desktop, and we would not have uh, modified anything. DTOS. Uh, with Blaster is a stateless operating system, so we don't commit any uh, rights uh, to the local hard drive. All we're doing is reading from it. So as you can see now, I have a different desktop than what I just started with. This is our, our Blaster or, or DTOS uh, desktop. It's a very simple desktop. There's not that many uh, uh, controls here. We have a main control panel, which allows us to create connections. Um, be that uh, to a VMware view environment or to terminal servers or a web interface or, or plain um, RDP session. I created a couple of uh, connections here previously. Um, so this is just an example connecting from my Blaster desktop out to uh, an XP virtual machine. So I just use my DTOS operating system to launch my RDP connection to my machines running uh, in the data center. So this, this is really a great advantage because it allows you to move into the concept of thin client computing without uh, having to invest in new end user hardware or, or throwing out that hardware that is not ready to be replaced, has not met its life cycle. So by running uh, the uh, Blaster tool, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect here again. Uh, we've just made this PC into a Think Client and at a fraction of the cost of the Think Client. What we find uh, with most customers that are looking to move to Think Client computing, it's a big buzz in the industry, is it comes down on the per user cost. And once you add up all the components, your back end infrastructure, your server, central storage, your uh, software licensing, and then throw a Think Client on top of that, it's still something that is uh, a, a little hard to justify for some customers. So uh, we'll we're taking a big bite out of that per seat pricing um, with our Blaster tool. Again, it's only a fraction of the cost of even the most inexpensive Think Client available today. Now, uh, Blaster, because it is stateless and does not save any persistent information, as you see here, I have these two icons that were on my screen. The reason they are there is because Blaster is communicating with our management server. 
And our management server, which offers a web-based uh, front end, is where you can control uh, or define the personality of each of those Blaster agent desktops. So if your users are supposed to connect into VMware View uh, to authenticate, to get their own personalized uh, XP virtual machine, the Blaster tool can be configured such that when it reboots, it will automatically launch the View Connection Manager. So you, your, your end user doesn't actually have to interact with the DTOS desktop. The machine will, will immediately take them all the way into whatever session you configure. So it, that could be a single connection into View, or as mentioned previously, you have a few options here what you can connect into. Uh, web browser interface, we support Citrix, uh, uh, RDP, and we're also uh, uh, working continuously to add additional support for other clients that uh, are used in the thin client computing space, or other software clients. So ThinManage and Blaster uh, work together. ThinManage is where we store all of the persistent information. So if this desktop is supposed to have these two RDP sessions, every time it reboots, ThinManage will say, these are your connections. If ThinManage does not have that set here, then this user wouldn't have access to these tools. So it offers a point of security and control as to what your employees are doing on their computer. If they're supposed to be launching a connection to uh, a, a website or your web-based applications and that's all they're supposed to have, you can control that by giving them access to just what they need. Uh, or it can be into a full virtual desktop infrastructure. That's your choice. Uh, ThinManage and Blaster are, are sold together. There is not a separate licensing for it, so the licensing is on a per seat for the Blaster tool itself. And the ThinManage server is provided uh, included with that licensing. We provide the ThinManage server as a virtual appliance, so it's very simple to set up, uh, a very quick setup, and uh, a fairly intuitive interface uh, to configure uh, your Blaster agent. It's actually a very simple environment that you have uh, running here and uh, will get you the benefit of being able to move into thin client computing today and um, in, in deploying the backend infrastructure to support a full-scale deployment of thin client computing. So uh, we hope that uh, this tool is of, of great benefit to you and appreciate your time. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you need any further information, please reach out to us via uh, our website. Thank you very much.